Hi everyone, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to August Faves and Fails. This may be a long one. You might want to go and make yourself a cuppa, get comfortable as we may be here sometime. There are quite a few fails in this month's Faves and Fails, but there were so many favourites I've had to narrow it down to my ultimate favourites, otherwise we'd have been here all week and we just can't have that now, can we? <laughs> <laughs> so, unless these fitted in my everyday routine, unless I was really wanting to use them in my everyday life, they are not going to feature in this month's faves category. So, these are my ultimate favourites that I've been testing out this month. Hopefully, everybody is going to enjoy this video. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy following me across over there as well. And I would really appreciate it if you'd come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's get straight on with it. So firstly, a bit of news, if you follow me on Instagram and you check out my Instagram stories regularly, you will already know this bit of information, but if you haven't followed me across on Instagram already, you may have noticed that there has been a little bit of extra information in all the description boxes of all the videos that I've been putting out recently. They are my discount codes. Hallelujah! I finally managed to get a couple of discount codes for you all. However, it's not actually for you all. It's only if you live in the UK. I'm working on getting discount codes that work worldwide. Bear with me. I'm doing my best. So these are discount codes for the websites Look Fantastic and Feel Unique. You will see all the information in all of the description boxes from here on in. And if I've got any extra information to give you, I will let you know in my Instagram stories. So let's jump straight into changes of opinion and there's been one massive one. Now this doesn't usually happen to me. What usually happens is I don't like an item and then I might change my mind after persevering with it and finding out really how it works and how it works best on my skin. This has happened the other way around and I feel really bad about it to such an extent I did an Instagram story letting everybody know to hold off buying this item until I've tested it out a little bit further. So the first item that I need to talk about is from Patrick Tarr and it is his Major Brow Lamination Gel. Now, I adored this when I first applied it. It really did wonders for my brows. It was excellent. I loved the applicator. However, as I've started to use it more regularly, this has started to thicken a little bit like a mascara would, and it's now drying down so fast it's creating not only a residue on my skin, but also a residue on my brow hairs as well. And that residue looks like glue. And it's stringy like glue, you can pull it off. I can't use this product. It just does not work for me anymore. And I have no explanation for it. This was the best thing ever for a good couple of weeks. I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what happened. But it's, yeah, it's awful. It's absolutely awful and it's unusable for me now. So sorry if you went out and bought it and you think it's rubbish. I will try harder next time. Okay, moving away from the changes of opinions, let's jump into the fails. So this first one is from Way and this is their super dry shampoo. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong with this dry shampoo. It's an amazing dry shampoo, but it is so heavily scented, this gives me headache. And I'm not really that sensitive to fragrance. So yeah, I'm not sure whether it's just this fragrance, but it stays around for days. This was on my pillow. This was in my bedroom. This was downstairs in my house. I could smell it everywhere. And it wasn't as if the scent dissipated, no. It stuck around for hours. I could still, I don't know if I got this up my nose and I was just smelling it for days, but it just wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> it really wouldn't. So again, this is a great product, but they, they just need to tone down the fragrance in this. It's a lovely fragrance, but 
it, it needs to come with a disclaimer that you will need paracetamol if you are gonna use this. <laughs> Moving on to the next fail, you may have seen me try and use this in a recent video. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer and I had high hopes for this. It's the right consistency, it's the right shade for me, I liked the applicator, it's simple but effective, but this made my skin sting and burn and usually I ride those sorts of things out, but this was way too much to bear, so I had to remove it pretty much immediately. I've had a look at the ingredients in this, I cannot figure it out why I had such a bad reaction. This may be the best eyeshadow primer on the planet and I'm missing out. If you love this, please let me know. Unfortunately, I can't try it out for long enough to figure out whether I like it or not. I generally don't apply products that hurt. <laughs> if anybody else has had a reaction to this, by the way, please let me know, because it will make me feel a little better that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Next fail is another one from NYX. I promise I'm not just here to bash NYX the brand. I do love a lot of their products. This is their Jumbo Eye Pencil, and yeah, it was a major fail for me. I got this in the shade that I thought I was going to use most on a daily basis. It's such a pretty shade. It's called Yogurt, but they have a lot of other more vivid shades. They have a beautiful vivid blue, and I thought if this works for me, I'll go and get that one and then maybe be a little bit more adventurous. Yeah, yeah it didn't really work that way for me. So I like an eyeshadow stick or an eyeshadow jumbo pencil that is really easy to apply, very easy to blend out, but then locks in place. And this really wasn't that. In fact, it wasn't that at all. So I blended this out, no problems, but it pretty much blended to nothing because this didn't lock in place for me at all throughout the day. In fact, this moved all the time to the point where two hours after applying this jumbo pencil, I had hardly any eyeshadow left on my visible lid it was all in my eyelid fold. So when I shut my eyes, I had lines across my eyelids, which is not generally the look that I go for. So I love the shade of this. I love the shades of the others, but it really did not work for me and my oily eyelids. If you've had a lot of success with this, do let everybody know in the comments section, but yeah, it's definitely not for me. I've heard a lot of people say that their twisty uppy mechanism is also broken in this product. That's because this product does not have a twisty uppy thing, you know, the little spinny thing on the end that releases the product out of the end. This does not have one of those. And it looks like it does, but it doesn't. You actually have to sharpen this product. And that's quite difficult because the exterior of this product is plastic. So any pencil sharpener that you put this in, it's going to dull the blade pretty quickly. So yeah, I think that's a little bit of a design flaw. I'm not keen. Next two products are from Revolution Pro. These two are part of their Protect range. So we have the Protect Soft Focus Primer and the Protect Soft Focus Fixing Spray. Both of these didn't work for me. I got on my high horse when I first got these because these say that they are pro age and they also say protect on them, but they only say that they are UVB protection. They don't say that they're UVA protection. So I got all irate and I knew exactly what I was going to say in this video. I can't believe it. How can they say it's protecting your skin if there's no UVA protection? And then I looked at the ingredients and found out that one of the main ingredients for the protection source is avabenzone. Now avabenzone is one of the best protection ingredients for UVA rays. So then I thought, well, why have they said that these are UVB protection only? And I contacted Revolution to ask them that exact question. <laughs> Their exact response was, thank you for your patience. The relevant department has advised. Currently, our SPF moisturizers have only been tested to protect against UVB radiation and we are unable to claim UVA protection regardless of any specific ingredients. I hope this helps. 
yes, that definitely did help. So thank you so much for Revolution Beauty for actually getting back to me on that. I have huge respect for you giving me that information because they didn't have to. However, regardless of whether these actually do protect against UVB and UVA rays, they didn't work for me. <laughs> So that was a lot of waffle for absolutely nothing. This soft focus primer, it definitely does give a soft focus effect, but it's a little sticky and a little chalky all at the same time. I didn't find it comfortable on my skin at all, but it did grip my other products. So that's one thing that it did do, but yeah, I didn't find it comfortable. So that's a definite fail for me. And uh, the Protect Soft Focus Fixing Spray just melted my makeup and made me look seriously oily. So that was a definite fail. Often I could use looking a little bit oilier, but not as oily as this made me look. So yeah, both of these were fails for me, but again, huge respect to Revolution Pro for actually getting back to me and giving me that information because I really appreciated it. And the last fail in this video, I, I don't know whether this is a dud or not, but this just, this is not good. This is really not good. I actually put some of this on yesterday and went, oh! <laughs> This is one of the Lancome Juicy Tubes and uh, what shade is this in? Magic Spell. This tastes of coffee. I don't like coffee. <laughs> It was really unpleasant. Now, I'm not quite sure whether that is what it's supposed to taste of, but it lingered for a while. I had to take it off. I just couldn't cope. The actual formula itself is lovely. Why? Why have they done this? I really don't know. So I have another one in the shade Dreamsicle, which is beautiful and it tastes, I don't know, what does this one taste like? It definitely doesn't taste of coffee. Yeah. It's like a bubblegum fruity scent, that one. But yeah, this one, not so much. Really not so much. So please tell me, have I got a dud here? I seem to be inundated with duds on my channel at the moment. <laughs> Surely this isn't one as well. <sighs> coffee. I, I, don't, I don't even like coffee. I don't drink coffee. I don't want to put it on my lips. No, thank you. Let's move into the favourites. Hold on to your hats, there are a lot of these. So uh, this first one has to be this. I mean, you all know, if you've seen my recent video on this, you will know how much I love it. I seriously have put this through its paces. This is from Lancome and it's the 10 e Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I don't have a bad word to say about this. This is amazing. Now, I don't have this on today and I'm missing it. I have a concealer on that costs five times the amount of this and I prefer this one. If this had the tiniest little bit of extra coverage, I I would throw all my other concealers away. No, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. But I would feel like I could because this does everything for me. Now, I'm not going to go on about it because I have done a full review. I will link that up here for you if you want to check it out. But yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> This next one is also from a recent video. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes Liner Duo. It's got a brown on one end, it's got a cream on the other end. Both ends are matte and it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning, beautiful and soft. The paler end really does brighten up the lower waterline or you can add it as an inner corner highlight if you want something more matte as that inner corner highlight. And this black brown is soft, it's subtle. I have it on my waterline today and it's just a really subtle way of emphasizing the eyes. I really like it. It's not harsh, it's not an aggressive way of doing a liner and it blends out really beautifully. Again, not going to go on about it too much because I have done a full review. This little beauty also featured in that review. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette. Again, not going to go on too much but you've seen how beautiful that is and it's just as beautiful on the face. Check out the full review. I will link it up here for you, but yeah, I have not been disappointed by either of those items. 
So let's talk foundation. I have reviewed several foundations this month. These are my two top picks. So this first one, super expensive, but super luxurious, really beautiful on the skin. This is from Clay de Peau, and this is the Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. If I'm being completely honest, I think I prefer the matte version. It just looks more flawless on my skin, but I prefer this shade that I've got in the natural version, which is 010 and a much closer skin tone match for me. So if you're wanting to test out Clay de Peau and you are my shade twin, in, you will be 010 in both the matte and the natural. I, I love both of these, they are beautiful. Seriously pricey, but for me, oh, this is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever had on my skin. It's just lush. Opposite end of the spectrum though, and equally as lovely, as long as you don't have super dry flaky skin, this looked awful when I had dry flaky skin. This is the True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. This is beautiful on my skin, but I cannot wear this every day because this has such high quantities of alcohol in there, which makes the formula work the way that it does, so it's needed. But because of the high quantities of alcohol in, if I use this every day, it will dry out my skin. So I'm just pre-warning you, that may happen to you as well. But I'm glad I got this. It's affordable and it looks stunning on my skin as long as I prep it right, use an exfoliant first thing in the morning and then really drill my skin full of hydration and nourishment before I apply this. And then I'm good to go. This is a lovely, lovely formula. I have been told that this is actually quite expensive for a drugstore foundation in the US, whereas it's £13.99 in the UK, it's $20 in the US. And uh, yeah, that shocks me a little bit. In direct comparison with the exchange rate, that would seem that it was acceptable. But usually, if it's £13 in the UK, it's $13 in the US. You usually get things far more affordably than in the UK. So, uh, yeah, that's how much we usually have to spend on a drugstore foundation. But hey-ho, I like it. Next in the favourites category has to go to Revolution Pro. These are just divine. These are part of the Goddess Glow collection. These are the Goddess Glow cream highlighters. My favourite one is the shade Ablaze. It's just beautiful. These remind me of the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter ones and the um, she has some contour ones very similar to this as well. Stunning absolutely stunning, just the right amount of glow, no sparkle, has a little off switch so that you can travel with these perfectly well and they won't spill all over the place, but if you drop them on the floor they also won't smash. I, I, I've got nothing but love for them, that's all I can say. Again, not going to go into too much detail because I have got a video where I've reviewed quite a few Revolution Pro products. I will link that up here for you if you haven't seen it and you're interested. Next favourite goes to the Pixie On The Glow blush. This is absolutely beautiful. Every single time I wear this blush, whether it's on camera or in real life, <laughs> like this isn't real life, but you know what I mean, out and about, I get compliment after compliment. This is so girly. It's very dewy on the skin. It makes your skin look like glass. It's super youthful and glowy and I adore it. It also lasts a long time on me, which for this sort of product is really quite impressive. I love it. It's pretty much sold out absolutely everywhere, but this is the shade Juicy that I have. I am dying to get it in the other two shades. Watch this space. These next favourites I've been getting a lot of wear out of recently. These are from Revlon and they are the Colourstay Satin Ink Liquid Lips. They come in beautiful neutral nude shades which are super versatile and really pretty. And if you're one of those people that likes your lipstick to stay intact all day and doesn't like reapplying constantly, you also don't like looking in a mirror every five minutes to check that everything is still perfect and not smudged halfway up your face like usually happens to me after drinking a glass of 
whatever, then you may want to check these out. These are also not matte, so they're also not overly drying. They are slightly drying, they're not going to be super hydrating, but they're definitely not as drying as a matte liquid lip. So I can apply this first thing in the morning and it's still intact eight hours later without any sort of touch-ups at all. One word of warning, and I have said this in a previous video, apply the bare minimum of this. You don't need to over apply. This is super pigmented, so it's just not necessary. And if you do over apply, these tend to dry and then flake off, which is just not the look that anybody is wanting to go for, let's face it. So the bare minimum, and for me, these work a treat. Next product in the favourites, the Lash E Doll from Lancome. This is a fantastic mascara, it's super black, it's really easy to apply and for me it doesn't smudge, the applicator is really easy to use for both bottom and top lashes. I really, really like it. In fact, this has probably taken over from my Monsieur Big from Lancome. <laughs> I've been reaching for that mascara a lot less since I was gifted this, so um, hmm. I really like this mascara, it's lovely. Another Lancome product that I absolutely adored that actually shocked me a little bit because I wasn't expecting to love this is the Lancome highlighter in the shade Lilac. This is so super pretty and I actually reach for this a lot more often than I thought I was ever going to. So this doesn't look purpley tinged on the cheek. It just looks really glowy and glass-like. Very, very flattering on a more fair toned skin. So uh, I'm not quite sure how this would work on anybody with a deeper skin tone than mine, but it definitely looks super flattering on me and it wears very, very well. This is not one of those highlighters that will creep down the face as the hours progress. It's just not. It sticks where it needs to and it just looks super lush. This next favourite I have used pretty much every day since I got it. It's from Way, and it's their matte pomade. So this is amazing at styling the hair. I only use this when I have my hair up, which is pretty much most days other than when I'm filming. And when I have my hair up, I always get those little flyaway hairs. This is absolutely fantastic at just sticking those little flyaway hairs down. So as you can see, it's like a creamy, putty-like texture. It's super strong. It really is very, very strong. This is better, oh, it's got a hair stuck in it. This is better than any other hair gel type product that I've ever used, hands down. I really like it. I have been told that you can style short hair with this as well. You can add texture to the hair, you can flick it out. And I was asked a question not so long ago, with this being matte, will it take away the shine from the hair? I haven't noticed that it takes away the shine from when I have my hair up, but I have never used this when my hair's been down, so I can't actually answer that question. If anybody has used this, whilst their hair's been down to add texture. If you could answer that question, that would be absolutely fantastic in the comments section below. This next product is also from Way, and this is one that I absolutely swear by. This is their Detox Shampoo. Now, I use this probably every 10 days or so, which is why there's hardly any gone. You need so little of this. It's ridiculous. I mean, I do have quite short hair anyway. Obviously, you're gonna need more if your hair is a lot longer than mine, but a little goes a very long way with this. I tend to use this when my hair needs a serious deep clean. When I need to get rid of all that dirt and all those impurities, this is the shampoo that I tend to reach for. If I've not washed my hair for a considerable length of time, if I've overused that dry shampoo, <laughs> hangs head in shame. This is what I reach for and yeah, it's really, really good and very effective. Moving on to the next favourite, this is hands down the best liquid liner that I have ever used. 
I've used a lot. Now granted, most of those liquid liners have been affordable liquid liners like the NYX Epic Ink Liquid Liner, which I still think is absolutely phenomenal. This trumps that tenfold. I've also used the KVD Vegan Beauty Liquid Liner, which is also supposed to be waterproof. This also trumps that one as well. The tip of this is ultra fine. You can do some really detailed line work with this and it's so quick and easy to use. So this is the Lifeliner Quick and Easy. You will see me using this all the time. It will be in the description box of a lot of videos. It's, it's lovely. I have it on today. So quick, so easy to use, and it's waterproof. I mean, I could cry buckets and this would still be intact. I'm not going to cry buckets, but I could if I wanted to, and I would be okay. Okay, hold on to your hats. This is phenomenal. Now, unfortunately, this palette from NARS, the Orgasm on the Beach palette, is limited edition. This is the most beautiful cheek palette I've worn in a very long time. And I just got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes Face Palette. I love that palette. There's nothing wrong with that palette. It's super, super beautiful. But the day after I tried that palette, I got my hands on this one and I love it. I love it. And if you told me I would have to give one of those palettes up, whether it be the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes or the Orgasm on the Beach palette, I would probably give up the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I would fight. I would seriously fight you for it. But this one just pips it at the post. So much variety in here. Yes, it doesn't have the contour shade that the Charlotte Tilbury palette has. And I think I prefer the highlighter in the Charlotte Tilbury palette, but I actually prefer the cheek shades in this palette and there are lots of them. It's very versatile. Because these are so hard pressed, these are gonna last a really long time as well. So you need very little of this. It's not powdery, you don't pick up lots of product on the brush, so it's not going to scare you. It's beginner friendly. These are glowy, they are beautiful, but you can have them super vibrant if that's what is required on the day. You just need to build these up. I'm, I'm just in love, really love them. And the last product in this video goes to IT Cosmetics. Now, I only bought the little version of this because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. This is the Bye Bye Makeup Cleansing Balm and it's so effective, it's really nice. I also, another one, I did say that this was the last one, I'm lying. This is from e.l.f. and it's the Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm. Both of these work in very similar ways. They have completely different ingredients in, but both of them feel very similar on the skin and they're both very effective. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't use a cleansing balm to add stuff to my skin. I use a cleansing balm to make sure that my skin is completely clean, all the makeup, the SPF has been removed, but it's been done in a gentle way so it's not stripped anything else from my skin that I need. These are beautiful for doing that. Now the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup will say that it's going to leave your skin feeling, you know, hydrated and beautiful because it's got all those added ingredients in. That doesn't really matter to me so much because it's not what I use it for. I add all those ingredients after with my skincare. But if that matters to you, this is a really beautiful cleansing balm. If that doesn't matter to you, if you're just after something to cleanse your skin and you're wanting something slightly more affordable, then the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm will probably be the way to go. I love them both. I think they're both superb. So that's it for this video. I really hope you found it helpful. I'm actually quite hoarse. I feel like I've talked you all to death. So I am gonna let you go now. Thank you so much for staying to the end. I will link all of the videos that feature all of the products that I've spoken about in this video in the description box below. So if you need any added information that I haven't provided in this video, that will all be provided in those videos. So just click on the link and you can watch those videos to get the information that you need. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.